Hey everyone. I was um sitting here working on my on my um jumble junk journal and I thought, well, hmm, I'll just turn on the camera. And so second I gotta push over here and shut the store. There. Okay, so I turned on my camera. And this is the, the junk journal I made a episode one earlier today and but I've been kind of doodling with it I, it ended up that I made three signatures out of the amount of papers that are in the kit this kit I'm talking about is the kit that um, I offered three videos ago that I offered a kit and um, so far I've sold four of them and so and one of the ladies that bought one, she was very interested in watching me put together one so then she would have the same thing to work on. And so I thought, well, yep, I'll do that. And that gives me a little inspiration of what I want to do. So I have just about used all of my parts. Ooh, I want to use this too. This little thing is the paper that came off of the embroidery floss. I'm going to use that. But, um, so I want to kind of flip through and show a little bit. See, I still have more parts, but I went to three signatures. Now, see these two corners I put here? These two corners are actually the corners that I took off of a tag. Okay, so let me just kind of flip through here and show you how I've got the three of signatures set up. Um, there is two or three pages of out of a um, out of a catalog, a um, precious moments catalog. Oh, the images are gorgeous to first fussy cut, and that's what this was fussy cut from. There's pages in there that are sewn together. Um, with different papers on them and this here paper as you see it's um, kind of ripped that's how it came because it is that old and so it's stitched in there this is a paper bag and I there's and and in one of the in one of the pages in here in the group is a page or I might have even two different ones in there that are a page that I um that I, a page that I, I um, photocopied on just plain computer paper. I photocopied some old, um, old, very vintage photographs. I photocopied them and then I coffee dyed the paper that I photocopied them onto. And so I've cut those apart and I'm using those as well. In fact, I think we're one of them. Let's see if I've got one that'll fit right here. You see that? And so I just cut them apart. Instead of using that for a page, an actual page in my book, I cut it apart so I could use it as uh, ephemera or embellishments. And so and I can go through and make, like like here, one thing I like to do is to, I like my little stitch marks. So I'm doing, on the last video I showed you how I did this paper bag pocket. You can make stitches. Now, some people use a ruler to make your stitches, so your stitches come out nice and... Oliver, come over here. Don't scratch the door. Okay, see, there we go. So many more things can be added. Let's see here. I think I'm going to take a... This is another one of the images. I just love the old images of, of folks from long ago. And the photos, the photographs are so old that you pretty much know that these people are even no longer around, you know. But you look at the photographs and then you wonder, you know, 
This looks like it's probably a mother and two daughters. And there's another little one. It could be even a grandchild. But you kind of can imagine them. Imagine. And this is a card. To uh, I started make greeting, greeting cards, and that one was one that was unfinished but had some of my little artwork. I put that on there and to put it on that page. And when you're doing a jumbled up junk journal, you really do not have to have anything. Um, hang on a second. I'm going to let that go. Yeah. You know what? I can't just leave the door open all the time. Here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Don't come back. There. I guess I put them out. I guess I told them. I told them, stay out there with your father. Okay. Now. All right. Now. And so, there we go. And all of these things you find, like, see here, I made this tag. And I used one of the images out of the out of the Precious Moments catalog. I cut them corners off, and those are the corners that I put here on the front corner, front corners of that um, of that signature. Put a cluster here. Here I put a pocket in a cluster, and I made a tag and put in a greeting, not a greeting card, but a playing card. This was a, one of the um, this was one of the postcards. It didn't have any writing at all on the back, so I was able to use that one as a um, as a pocket. Now you can actually photocopy these, and so you would have more than one to use. Um, I didn't photocopy it, but they are. You can do that. You can you can photocopy them. They're so old. They're most of them that I have are dated like, um, is there a date on this one? No, this one's not dated. But some of them, okay, this one here, 1917, this one is. So that one is definitely old enough that you can reproduce it and use it in your work. It's over 100 years old. Here I made a little belly band. And all of these things are... There's the other side of the paper bag that's got um, something can be put in there in that bag that's sold paper. Here's a page here. Okay, and then in the second, in the second, um, I should have showed you how I did this. I just did it though. In this now, in this page, in this book, let me see if I have. Let's see if I can find. Let's see if I can see this. Okay. You see this here pocket. Actually, you see the whole thing, this whole pocket. This whole pocket was a scrap piece of paper. This whole piece. Let's see. Okay, this whole piece was a scrap, this, because I had cut a piece off of here, and I cut a piece here, you know, and then this was a scrap, so I took that whole scrap and put it in here, and I made a pocket out of that, and then I can, I put that little playing card in there as a little tag. Now here, these two little lambs, they got cut out of the, um, a page from the Precious Moments catalog. So I cut out those two little lambs and I wanted it to fit in here. So I first had it square, then I said, no, I'm going to cut that edge off so it fits in here. Then I took this piece of paper, it was a square or a rectangle, and I cut off of that piece to make this. And then I had this little piece of this blue still here from the corner that I cut off of this. And so I put that on this paper on the corner right here, glued it on, and then cut around it. And I put that right there. 
and that made that a very unique pocket and it's a lot of scraps but it's very unique and different then I took that piece right here what was left and I glued this side here and this side here and made that little pocket right there that I can put that tag right in and it's got two bunnies in there from them pages I think I'm going to go through before I mail them off and put an extra page of these out of this catalog because those those are gorgeous the um the little pieces and see here when when you cut them corners off of the tag when you cut the corners off the tag to make your tag you can put them corners on a corner of a of a page and it it dresses up that page a little bit more and here was one of the paper bags so um, this is the bottom of the paper bag and I put on I just put on a piece of paper and then put the to cover the bottom of the bag and see how it flips them okay and there is another those are a pair of llamas out of that this one here I have um, all I've got in there right now is that little corner pocket which that can hold that corner pocket can hold that um, hold that postcard now here I can still go and put something on on this which I probably will now when you get your kit you know you of course you use what's in the kit but then you have scraps of your own I'm sure that you can use and so let's see here then this one here I have let's see what else do I have for I've used up almost the whole entire um these are fun these are um this I think I'll use for a pocket I can use up all my playing cards mm, maybe I did okay because I got most everything already used up in here yeah I don't want to put that in there and see so you'll you'll find something that maybe I should take one of these cards. Maybe I should put more three playing cards too in the package. I might do that. I might add to these packages. Now see these. I love these for um oh the for pockets. This here page I just folded it. I just wanted to make that pointy thing. I could actually put something in here because I kind of left that open and put some of the tickets in there and then here oh see I put that one right here I glued on just one of the those cards from the card catalog these pages that are from the old really old um, um, the really old uh, crafting magazine paper I kind of don't want to cover that up I don't want to cover up these um, I don't want to cover up them advertisements because I think they're just awesome look at looms are 990 and up to buy a loom holy smokes but anyhow and then there's that page with the lambs oh and here I took three pieces of paper and put them together three of the squares <coughs> to make a pocket that's a little different it still needs some it still needs some decoration on it which I'll go with the decoration but I'm not I'm not going to add anything to it right yet until because all I'm using is <coughs> excuse me all I'm using right now is just the pieces out of the out of the um kit when I'm doing this this is just kit things but now I decided in my kit see there now I have a pocket <coughs> oh excuse me I am um okay where did I put that 
I'm putting an extra, I'm getting an extra. After I went through it and I stated the price and things, then I was thinking, I don't have all the perfect gems and gems. Um, I didn't feel like I had enough in there to warrant the price that I was asking. So I, I'm putting more in. I started another um, collection of um, no more pages, but more ephemera, uh, more embellishments. And so I started another, another, and uh, another package, which I don't have them right here. I must have put them over in this stuff here. But yeah, so the, um, so the extra package will have a lot more of this sort of thing in there. So you can decorate the pockets. But there, see, now this, because this one's written on and it's been used, I, I wouldn't glue that one. I use that as just a pocket filler. And this, I cut that, I fussy cut that out of the, that's Noah's Ark. And I, then I had a, um, I have a deck of cards that have the unicorns on them, so I gotta make sure that unicorn gets on the on Noah's Ark. And there was a picture there of that I cut out of that one page, and then I double matted it on there and put that postcard. I love that postcard, but again, that one's got the stamp on it. It says 1915, and it is the address, and so that I. I, I don't want to glue that down to anything. And then let's see what we'll do. I still have more. We have more um, papers. I don't fiddle too much with worried about. Um, I don't worry too much about um, about things matching because when it's a jumble journal jumble junk journal then you just don't worry about things matching you just don't worry about anything and so you just you just put pretty things in there here and there and then when you when you go through it then then each page will be a new surprise. Now, a lot of people do junk journals. A lot of people do junk journals. But a lot of people do them way different. They did. There are some people that do such amazing things. There's the bag. Let's see. My dog scratched to go out. Now they're scratching to come back in. Well, guess what, doggies? Okay, you know what I'm going to do here? Oh, this here it says press, and he's got a newspaper over his head. That is adorable. I'm going to put him on that one pocket. And this will be a pocket, too. See, what I'll do is I will put in... The, just the two corners. Mm -hmm. See, they just want me to leave my craft room door open so that they can go in and out as they please. Okay, so there, there we go. Now I'm going to just leave that one. This one is full. This one is full. And then this one here is... I don't think I have put anything in this one other than the pages. I mean, just this one only owns pages. Yeah, so here, this one is going to need some. I just love these pages. These these are book pages. They were made by a friend of mine and sent to me. And she says, and you just go ahead and put them in your kits. You just do whatever you want with them. 
And so that's what I'm doing. And I am having fun with these. And I put them in the kit so that other people, everybody who buys a kit, will also have some of these. And this same lady made me clusters. And so there's clusters. Like this cluster, there's clusters also in the packagings in the in the group of in the group. Let me see. This is a page out of an old um, some of the stuff I just don't want to cover up because it's interesting. And this is out of an old 1909 catalog from the Sears and Roebuck. Oh look at this. What if I put this right here? What if I just do this? Now, I may later on, like here especially, if I had a white pen, there's this one mark right here, and, um, and, um, let's see, and then you see, so, Maybe, not. Oh, I was going to write love on there with that white, but it's not right. I'll have, I have something that'll write though. And so I want to put the ink, not the ink, the glue right here and here. And I'm going to put that like right there in that corner. And so, well now it's showing, now that it's, now that it's um, dry. not really liquid chalk pen is what this is liquid chalk do I have to like press it oh no I guess not some of them have like a <laughs> like a spring action but no that didn't work no I just pushed it in there okay but you can still see that it says love there I'll get a straight pin and pull that back out. But then there can be a tag put there. Now see what you can do here when, like I said, if you're making a, um, oh, look at this guy. He'll fit on that tag. That guy will fit on that tag. So nice. I just love them precious moments. I've had a few precious moments over the years, but I, I wind up re-gifting my collections. Lately, especially, I have so many little knickknacks and things, and I've kind of re-gifted them all. This is here. In fact, last night I gave my granddaughter a little bird, whatnot, that was my grandmother's. And so that makes it her great great grandmothers and so I gave her that and it had like a little hole in the bottom I said put down on there that that belonged to your great grandma Lockwood and um, and then you'll always know where that came from look at there we can put that tag in there and then you can go oh and then take these two corners don't don't throw them corners away because you can take them corners and find corners here, like this. Put one there, and and then put one here, and I still have, what do we have? Oh, I haven't put this pocket in here. I want that pocket somewhere. Well, i got to do something with that bag. See now, I that's why I gotta put more. I'm see it's a good thing that I'm doing this one on my own because um oh here's some new Joel for constipation maternity oh interesting now I'm gonna put I'm gonna put that here okay and you will be getting a lot more than this because putting 
as far as embellishments because just by me putting this together I have found that um, we really can use more and so that's why I'm putting more in the packages they don't get mailed out till tomorrow the ones that I've already sold so I'm going to really fill them packages up with more fun things that can be fussy cut or um, let's see let's put this here now see on these vellum pages because you know you can glue things onto vellum just fine but then what happens when you do that there I glued that on there but what happens when you do that is it shows through the back so then just put something on there too and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just see it's that circle there so I'm going to glue just a circle here and then when I put it on, I'll put that glue to where that glue is just pretty much just on that circle. So you can still see the card there, but you're not seeing the glue. Now that works pretty good. And let's see, what else do we have? Oh, I still have some. Now see, this was a scrap. I cut pieces off of this to use for other things. So, you can take this piece. Now, now see, this is a scrap. Instead of throwing it in the rubbish, I'm going to I'm gonna glue it on this page. This glue, I'm not making a pocket, I'm just gluing it. I'm going to glue it on that page. Like this. And then I'm going to you could then maybe do some decoration around. Now I'm just using an ink pen right here for right now, but you can use, you know, a marker or anything that makes color. Nothing has to be planned ahead. Nothing has to have a reason. Nothing has to be a perfect shape. Okay, there. I just, that's that scrap. Okay, now how about this little guy? This little guy with his little puppy. Cute, adorable. Yes. Hi, honey. Okay, don't trip over my pile of junk. Okay, I'll be back there sometime. You know how I am. Okay. Okay. I love you too. See, so look at that. See that? And that's that scrap. I'm doing a video here. Yes, you are. Yeah. I'm doing like a video. Tell your folks I said hi to Hello, folks. folks. Yeah, there's no folks watching right yet. Well, they will be in when they will watch the movie. The, the full-length Disney World movie. Yeah. Okay. I love you too, sweetie. Okay. Now... Let's see what we can do. Look at there. This girl is doing some basket weaving. This comes from a really cool book. It has so many neat images in there. Here it says, To thine own self be kind. Okay. So I'll put that in there, and I'm just going to put it in. Um, the two sides and then that will make a pocket and look at how cute <laughs> he's so cute I just love this catalog I found at a thrift shop I was so happy to find that catalog because of the images that were in that catalog there we go. There's somebody making a broom. Mm -hmm. There's a piece of that sewn page. <laughs> if I want him on there. 
Oh, do I want him right up here? Yeah, I want him up there. And it's fun just to have. I'm finding that by using this kit, it's like challenging. It's like challenging to um to see what you want to do with what and and knowing that there's no rhyme or reason, there's no rules, then you can you don't have to nothing is right or wrong. There we go. Put that in there. And and the thing is, this journal could turn out to be your an art journal. It could be a um, look at this little elephant. It could be um, just you know if you write little notes. You, you, journaling does not mean that you have to have a beginning and a plot and an end, you know, to your story. Um, there never has to be a moral to the story. Um, yes, sir? I will bring it up here. Oh, Richard, that means I have to turn. I can't do that right now. Okay. 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 My pumpkin, my hubby, my hubby is just amazing. He is. I um, have this problem with my legs, and so every night before we go to bed, he calls it greasing up. He lotions my legs and my feet, which is amazing. He's an amazing man. So he just wanted to come in and do that now and do my legs, but um, I can't turn my body around for him to get to my legs right now, so he'll do it later. He is one good dude. And so, but oh my legs, since he started doing that, he's been doing it now for, I don't know, six months, but I have this nasty, nasty looking legs that my legs are all like brown and crusty. But since he's been putting this intensive lotion on, they are so much better and they don't burn and hurt. So he really is, he takes care of me. I just have... I am so blessed. Okay, so now here I've come to kind of the end of this. Now I still I still have plenty. I don't have a whole lot here to do work with, but I have all this. I have still have this and this and this. Now, now I'm going to show you how now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do now with the cover. Okay, these things here. I still have some of these fussy cut little animals or the little precious moments. I've still got some of my images here. I still got this little scrap. I've got a few things. Okay. Now I'm just going to put them off to the side right here. And that's what I'm going to do with them. Because now I'm going to show you. I don't know what size cover I'm going to need for this. You don't need a cover. You can just tie the whole thing. You know, you can, and I could put this right on the front, whatever. You don't need a cover, but we're going to have a cover. So what I have to do then is I measure, I measure, I, if I can get my ruler. I don't want that ruler. I want this wooden one. Okay. My book is going to be, Okay, I need to have this cover to be six inches in width. I don't need you, moth. Look, I got moth. I got moth on my thumb. Hi, moth. Some people would probably get grossed out by this, but Tori wouldn't. Tori, are you watching? Look. Look at moth. Now moth is on this finger. Oh, come on. He's my pet moth. Okay, you're going to have to go over here because we're busy. Okay, fly. Okay, and it's what I say, six, and then this way is nine. Okay, so I'm going to need to have six by nine. My cover is six by nine doubled, which would be 12 by nine, and then the, the 
the um, binding, the spine, I'm going to need to have that to be two inches. So now we're up to 14 inches this way by nine. Well, it just so happens that this is 14 inches to here. And then here up here is six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is up here. So that, Martha is going to help us. There. Now, now I know I need to have, um, uh, okay, moth, go. Now, I'm going to have, let's see, this is what I'm going to have. I've got just paper. This is, oh, that is 14 inches right there. That is 14 inches. This is a 14 inch piece of paper, but this piece of paper is not going to be heavy enough. Okay, so then this one's also, this was just some things that I was picking up, something else that I was painting, and I was picking up the paint. Okay, now, so, I gotta move my junk out of the way. I'm gonna put this. 14. Okay, and I'm going to put this up to the 9. Right here. Wait a minute. Is that right? Yeah, 9. Because it's 8 and a half. So I'm going to do like this way. All right. And so I really need my bigger glue. Oh, here's my bigger glue. I'm get my bigger glue. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to glue these two pages together. And to make it nine. No, it's actually exactly the right size. Okay, well, it's a little, little more. Okay, because I didn't hold my mouth right. Okay, now. Now let me look. Let me look, I better check. Check this here. And then I'm gonna bring this over here like this. And yes, that is going to make a good sized cover. But let me work on this cover. It's too lightweight to be a cover right there. So I am now going to, let's see. Oh, I still have these. I still have these. So now what if I take these now? and start covering this paper that I know is going to be the right size. We'll just layer up. I'm just layering up. I'm just going to layer things. And, and I'm not going to concern myself where I put these things. I'm just going to layer things up. Now, my scraps, let's get that in there. Let's put that right there. It's as perfect as it can be. And what are these pieces of vellum that I can put right over? Oopsie. And I am just going with these papers, just wherever they want to go. And then this is going to be my cover. Who knows how this is going to end up? 
but I'm only using what's in the kit. So now I can go afterward if I want and I can add other things. You know, I think I will go in like and sort of make it an art journal and I'll go in with my markers or my paint pens or something and maybe I'll put some um, maybe I'll put some of my favorite quotes putting a bit of this vellum because then I can see some of that image through there okay so let's see This paper is kind of shiny. Kind of shiny. I like shiny stuff. Let's just put that right there. Okay. Here's a picture of a young couple with their children. What I will do with this when I'm finished is, when I'm finished with the cover, I'm not anywhere near that space in my life yet, but I will, um, I will go over it with like some maybe matte medium, lightweight matte medium. And, um... Oh, there we go. Okay, I had lost us on the on the screen there for a minute. Now I'm using just a whole bunch of the. This is just the things that are in my. Okay, now I got to turn it over. I'm gonna turn it over. See, now I'm gonna um. Now you can put anything down for your beginning, a piece of newspaper, anything, and that you're going to start gluing stuff to. And, okay, looks like I have pretty much used up a lot of my things here. I've almost used up everything. Now, oh no, I put them over there. That's what, I didn't use them up. I still have more things here. I just moved them out of my way. And then I think I almost got lost. And so. And look at there. She's beautiful. I have her just upside right. Let me see. I gotta make sure I don't have it upside down. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So she will go like this. She will go like that. And then let's see. This is making this cover more sturdy. But do you see how much thought I'm going and in putting into this? I'm just a lot of thought going into this thing. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not overthinking nothing. And this is just my idea of a jumble junk. Jumble junk. I don't like to call it junk. I don't like that word junk. I just call it a jumble journal because it's just a jumble bunch of mess. No, it's not even a mess. I shouldn't say that. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, this is going to be the front. This will end up being the front. So, maybe, let's see. Six inches of this. 
is going to be the front. So I want this to be like right here because then, let me see. This, so from six inches here and then to six inches here. That, that, that will be the spine right there. Okay. I've got to be careful as not to put, um, oh, look, I just love these little things. I'm going to put that on here. Okay. Like I said, I, I, um, put in a, I put in a, um, offer of, Kits. I made some kits. Wait a minute here. I'm going to go here and I'm going to measure to six right here. And then I'm going to go over here and measure to six right here. Okay. Now, I put in a video where I offered the kits. My kit is, is $30 for the kit. Then that's everything that you've seen me put into this journal so far. And, um, but it will actually be more because what I showed in the video, I decided wasn't enough. So I made another, let me see, where did I put those two little packages? Um, let's see. I know I just have them. So now, like, here is another package that's going to be in there. And in this package, there's a lot of things that, or there's some tags that are started to make. There's some clusters. There's some more. That's another tag. And what you get in this package is all things that you'll use as embellishments and um, things like that in your journal. So you'll have more than what you saw me put here. So now, now what I'm going to do is I want to fold, I'm going to go ahead and fold this now. Okay. Let's see. I got wet glue on there, so maybe I should wait till that glue is dry before I actually okay so then this this is so much fun I love this when you do not have any kind of rhyme or reason no theme no theme except fun the theme of fun yeah, so I've got on the front now, I have some of my vintage photos. And as you can see, it's not perfect. They're not perfect. You know what? I think I might end up putting... This here was made for me by um, Happy Ray. I love this. Yeah. Happy Ray of Crafty Sunshine. But no, I'm not going to put that on there. But it's going to go on something special because I love it. I love it. Now, is that where I... I'm kind of just folding it here. I'm just kind of folding that. Let me see. There's Martha back again. Martha, what are you doing back here, Kim? Don't get grossed out by my moth. My Martha. Martha. Come on. Come on. 
see? Well, Martha doesn't want to hang out. So now this is going to be the front. And then this is the inside. Although Martha is going to have to move. Martha, if you stay here, you're going to get pasted on the book. And you don't want to be pasted onto the book. No, you got a lot of life ahead of you. You are so pretty. You are so... I think she loves me, my little mom. Where are you going, Martha? Okay, you go over there. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do now that... Oh, I still have a couple more little images here I can use. They're not very big. Okay, so what I'm going to do here... So I'm going to get my, my, um, this is golden fluid medium. Oopsie daisies. There. Now I'm going to. Martha, go. You're going to get stuck for life. I'm telling you. You ever had a moth? Ah. <laughs> uh. There's some bugs that would be history right now, but not a moth. Look at that. Now, where did that other piece go? Oh, here she is. No. Oh, she can go right there. Just a little edge. It shows like a little grandma. So that was somebody's grandma. That was somebody's grandma. So I now am going over this whole thing with this matte medium and then I'm going to let that dry overnight and in the morning then I'm going to flip it over and do the other side because I'm going to go to bed pretty soon go with my hubster we're fixing to have a nice bed well we have a nice bed but um, the, the bed mechanism in the bed quit working so it doesn't do the massage anymore and it doesn't lift the head and the foot anymore so and so then I thought well okay so what I'm going to do is I ordered one of them buy here pay later buy now pay later things a mattress pad for a king size bed a mattress pad a mattress cover a mattress pad and some king size sheets because our beds were two separate single beds but they um push together and so so it looks like a king size bed well it is a king size bed but now that the, my part doesn't work anymore papa's part didn't work ever because we got it used but um but look at this I could sprinkle like glitter so that now I've already got the sheets the sheets have already came but um, I'm waiting for the mattress cover and the mattress pad. And then our whole bed will be like a brand new bed. It's going to be so nice. Yeah. Then we can cuddle better. You know, you got to cuddle. Even when you're old, you got to cuddle. You got to cuddle when you're old, even. Especially on cold nights. I like cold nights where you got to cuddle. Now, see here? Now, this is going to be a nice cover, Co a, a nice cover. And I, I may even do a little video to show, I don't know if anybody wants to see any more of these videos, but I may do another video just to show what it looks like when it's finished. Isn't that pretty? Now, there's a jumbled journal. Let's not call it a junk. This is not junk just jumbled. All right, you know what? That's as far as I'm going to go tonight. That was almost an hour. And so I'm going to, I am going to read, and I'm going to read out of the tea book again, because that's open right here. So I'm just going to um, hold it right here so it don't lay on the glue. But as you can see, this beautiful lady, look at how gorgeous she is. She's gorgeous. and um, But she lives over in another country, I would guess India, and where they pick tea. 
they're picking tea. These are all about tea, looking deeply into tea. And so, but I love these pictures. These images of these people are just gorgeous. I just love them. Okay, but here it says, Invitation. We are the ones who challenge God to reveal a face. We are the ones who often miss the divine moments of life because we look in the wrong places. We find our greatest teachers in the eyes of the humble. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I love that. I love that. You know, these are the kind of things that I rewrite. Like I might find a place in a journal that has some space to write. These are the kind of things that I like to write. Maybe these or maybe a, a Bible verse or something. You know, just something. If I if if it touches me, I like to rewrite it somewhere. And so that is awesome. And that just touched me very much. So this is going to dry. This is going to be my cover. And I want to say to you all, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. And, um, and if you're interested in one of these kits, I still have five available. Yes, I still have five available. And like I say, what you see in the video that I show the kit, there's going to be actually more than that, that little envelope, that little bag that I just showed you. That's what's going to be even more because once I started putting it together, I thought, whoops, I don't have enough ephemera. And so I want to say God bless you and please come back to the next video and you all stay safe and have a good week. Bye-bye.